Good luck and have fun. You're gonna need it. Attacking our cute little probes. <laughs> He's going for a gate bailing bus. Our pylons under attack.
Our pylon's under attack. Ah, uh, shit. <laughs> Maybe I should have done it on the high ground. Dimensional strings attuned. Tactical pause. Probably.
Game on, pal. One. Let us begin. An AOD wash The minerals have up and gone. Our window is short. The stars are alive. I see. We inter panel. The threads of fate lie bare. You seek guidance? Our window is Mineral shut. field depleted. Nazutai. An Aerodine Rashagal. Extrapolating strings. Harmonized. It is destined. Our fates are wrong. How can I aid you? Let us speak. How can I aid you? It is destined. Carrier has the minerals have up and gone. We interpret. I see. Extrapolating the enemy has discovered us. Our fates are. Our window is short. Our charge. Throw fate to the wind. Let us begin. The stars are left. Now from what I Vengeance is ours. Oracle perceiving. The threads of fate lie bare. Harmonized. Nazuktai. Harmonized. We meet our fate. Our fate is an order. It is destined. The golden armada carrier has arrived. <laughs> Seek guidance? We fear no end. An Aerodine Rashagal. The stars align. Extrapolating strings. How can I aid you? I see. We interpret. Let us begin. Nazutai. Harmonized. I see. The threads of fate. Our fates are one. It is destined. Nazutai. We interpret. Our fates are one. An omen? The enemy has discovered us. Anakharu. Our charge. We are ready. be scrapped.
Mineral field depleted. Victory. We are poised for victory. Engaging the enemy. Agreed. The minerals have up and gone. And they're out of here! <laughs> Let us proceed. Time to victory of me. To victory. Engaging the enemy. Let us finish this. We are poised for victory. Vespine geyser exhausted. Mineral field depleted. Barrier has arrived. <laughs> we are boys for victory. Prepare to engage. Well, there's no more gas with this one. Oh, got him. <clears throat> he was not happy one bit. Let us proceed. <laughs> oh, poor guy. He tried to Nidus rush me. He tried to Nidus rush me and then he got mad because I held it. One way to find out if he's expanding is by blocking, because the hatch, the drone will want to come over here. And uh, that lets you know, it's like, okay, he's over committing. He's definitely getting his um, Ling Rush or some something's kicking in really early. So I hide the probe here just in case he scouts there after he kills the pylon. The cannon right here was meant to be to just not lose this so quickly. Normally what happens is they break in, they run up the ramp to try to kill me, and then later on after the, you know, containment is not so easily broken, they come down and take all this out. So this is just me trying to figure out a way to like to just clog the, the cannons because I know he's going to go for um, like a, an all-in. I don't know if it's a Ling Bane or a Nidus, but... Have to be ready for either one. What I do know is that there's lings right here and not a drone. If there's a drone right here, that means he really wanted to take it. A ling means, oh shit, 
What the hell is this pylon doing here while I'm setting more links over to that side? There goes the night is worm. And then, like I said, I always get the cannons and put the stargates. Usually just one, but because of the signs of him being a little cheeky, I have to make two cannons. Sandwich them. There goes the lings. That's why you sandwich these. Now, he tried to do a um, uh, ling harass where he just holds position. So... He's going to have to hold position right here and kill all my workers. I have to find myself in little pockets and uh, keep him from surrounding and holding position. Because every time they hold position, they're going to hit whatever is close to them. And if my probe is close to them, they'll hit it. They'll hit that one too. Whatever's close. So I have to be very conscious on not letting them uh, surround. See how he wants to like get over here and hold position? See how he's holding position right now? Right now, this battery shield's getting hit by everything around it. And he's not aiming at it. Just he, he's doing it by just body body blocking. So he's over here now. He's going to try to hold position. So now I got to move out. Now, he's holding position. My probes are over here. Now I'm doing a pocket. A pocket, only one ling or a few lings could hit at the same time, but I have a battery shield. So I'm just kind of like going into the pockets. Now I'm just trying to recall somewhere, but the pocket would have been better. <laughs> it's trying to misplace them. And so with this right here, you're like, oh, what do you do? Well, I can't, I can't go high. I can't go void raids because they'll go hydras and queens. So I have queens, hydras. Like, so void raids don't, don't. We're not early enough in this situation. This is a weird one. So what I usually do is tempest. Now this probe over here, I was thinking about doing my old way, which is pylon, battery shields, kill it. But I was trying to cannon rush before my Tempest. That didn't work so well. Oracles are not that that early enough. Oracles are good, but I don't have enough time to get the Oracles just yet. Like for me to gather up enough Oracles, sometimes it, it's it's iffy. You know, I could he can go straight to Muta Play at that point. You know, he's not showing any gas at all. So he could switch into Muta's bunch of them at least tempest it's kind of like countering i don't expect them to make to do that that great they do better with the battery shield and cannons in the back of their 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 natural but it's the oracle's too risky in this situation usually i like to go void rates first poke a little bit and then go oracles but um you know if you use oracles and he attacks you your energy just depletes your energy just depletes. If he goes over here and decides to just pop out three spores and then has a few more queens, maybe two hydras, um, the oracles aren't going to do nothing. Oracles are not going to do anything versus like a, a continuation attack with some queens and a backup. Um, what's going to help you with this, if it does happen, is Tempest. Tempest will just make sure that all the shots are kicking in but we're not getting any damage because of the the distance of range so they do versus they do decent versus scattered hydros they do decent versus scattered queens so that the next best thing that i could try to do that can kind of you know get me back into the game i'm always talking about per scenarios every game is based on whatever that game is going on i never go oh well that last game i i do this because no every game free real-time strategy and we're, we have to play real-time strategy and what would be the best solution now luckily i've already run into a lot of these scenarios and i've made my decisions um 
So it makes it a little easier to get closer to the right decision than just trial and error fail. So, but yeah, the Tempest. Now this right here, like I said, I was hoping I could afford more cannons. No, I couldn't because I wasn't sacrificing any Tempest. I said, nope, I need the Tempest too. They're priority. And so I was just thinking maybe... No. Happened too quick. So this should be technically should be up here with battery shields and then you move in and you just deny the hydras and the queens. That one right here denies the corruptors and the mutas as well in regards to like defending my tempest because tempests don't run fast. Now he wants to expand, right? He's on an expo, he finally got a, a base. He's like, okay, time to expand finally. Now he's not going to be happy that he can't fully expand. I come over here. I saw the dead space. I go, oh, that's pretty good death, death space. While he's over here dealing with this, I come over with the oracles and take out his hatchery. got more drones right here he's only got these drones right here losing his drones right here and now he knows that I have recalled so he, now he's like shit take out that got more drones more drones Come here, gimme, gimme, gimme. Now I know he don't have that much. I could lose a few. So I'm, if he gets too much Hydras, then he's gonna start yoinking all my carriers. Mm, 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 mm. 